Sometimes you need to invest time to save time. So this is taking time to make, but will ultimately save us time in cleaning the red root floaters. We have these giant tubs. We have standardized everything around here with one inch PVC, and we are about to install a bulkhead and we're gonna drill through the center of this. I wanna explain the functionality of this. The goal is to do two holes, one hole here, one hole over there, and we're gonna run a pump that pumps uh, water all the way through it, but we'll have two holes. This will be the water coming down, that will be the water coming up. So Michael, do the honors, we're gonna drill through this. <laughs> bulkhead goes in, hopefully slip right here. Strainer goes over top. That's the end game right there, boys and girls. With the speed, and really what we could do, if we didn't want to have this on a return, we could just leave this by itself, overflow it, make that just a standing drain and not have it all plumbed up, but we're gonna to try to take it to the next level. Also, some system you can put your heaters in, you could put fertilizers, you could add crushed coral, you could grow something else. This is actually getting close to what I would call standing water level. We have the strainers on here, but I wanna show how we can get to a lower level. So if we wanna to go to like a drain level, you could go here and you could set your level so where your, your floaters only hit a certain spot, or you can go to max drain level down here where you're taking one of these and you're putting it at the bottom and it drains all the way down. Lots of flexibility with this. I'm loving the standing pipe because that kind of sets where you want to be, but you can go tease here. That way if one gets clogged, you're still covered on the other, but this is a uh, tremendous improvement and just like the speed of draining and you know. What'd they say, cleanliness is godliness? Like this is getting clean real quick. 